Cool, fantastic. So, what are we going to do now is create a muscle in, in the group. So, for that what we need is we need muscle cells. So, muscle cells are long and thin cells and later on we'll see how they contract. And what's around muscle cells is um, connective tissue. Connective tissue is very clingy, it's very attached to everything, it, it binds everything. So cling film really use a lot uh, to demonstrate what is a connective tissue. Um, what do you think this connective tissue would be made up in real life? Do you remember we did a fiber last time? Collagen. Collagen fiber, do you remember? So that would be actually made up from collagen fiber, but you can make different things from that. Okay, so we're having uh, this group. I want each one of you to hold a muscle cell. Uh, this group, muscle cell. And uh, I would need another group here, muscle cell each. Tina, Tina's group. Yeah, so uh, maybe not all of you would have muscle cells, but we, I would need you to be here. Okay, now what I'd like you to do each person, I'm going to give you a piece of connective tissue, and what I would like you to do is to wrap your muscle cell with connective tissue. Okay? So take it and you need to wrap it. Oh, to wrap your muscle tissue. Who can come and help me with? With the yes, with the clean thing, it becomes very clingy. So hold it like that, and you can give to each one. And you need to give another person. Yeah, hold it. This is yours. This is yours. Yeah. So start to wrap the the. Oops, sorry. <laughs> start to wrap your individual muscle cell with a piece of connective tissue. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't, you know, shall I watch you? Oh. Uh, there is another um, clean film there. Who else need it? Yeah? Good. <laughs> so, <laughs> muscle cells, now why do you think the connective tissue is needed? Why do you think the connective tissue is needed? In a muscle. Joins it together. Joins it together. Yeah. Absolutely. Separates the muscles. Separate the muscles. Protection. Yeah. Someone said protection. Yeah. Good. So. Oh yeah. Oh, you're very quiet. This muscle group. Didn't sound good, did it? Sides of attachment. Yeah. After that, well done. After that, we'll see how all the connective tissue will become where the muscle really attached into, um, into other bones around. Okay, so all the muscle cells have uh, connective tissue? Good. Now, now what's going to happen is that I'm going to give you another connective tissue and I would like each five of you to wrap five muscle cells into a bundle into another separate bundle because this is really how muscle works so they have cells and each cell is wrapped in a connective tissue but then they build in bundles yeah so uh, so get together five of you yeah and this would be your first bundle. Yeah. <laughs> and this is your. You're missing a person. You. <laughs> this is another bundle here. Yeah. So they mean the same color. All together. It doesn't matter. Yes. Do you have a bundle here? Well, oh, you have it. <laughs> oh, you're still there. So you need after that. Jackie, can you take the collagen fiber? Fantastic. That's really good. <laughs> Massive bit of clean film, that's all i got to say. Anybody wants <laughs> Yeah. 
team. You get to hold the muscle. So, can you have this? Jackie has that. Jackie has that. Yeah. Okay. So, can I have now uh, all the bundles? So, this is one bundle. Yeah. This is another one. This is the next one. And I think the. Fantastic. Thanks, Lee. So, this is. Bundles, right? And there are four bundles. Can you start seeing how the muscle would look like here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Now, what else do we need to 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 supply the muscle with? Blood. 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 Sorry, blood. 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 blood, right? So you need <clears throat> to have blood circulation coming to the muscle. Actually, we will need at least two blood vessels. One, bring it in and one take it out, yes? So for now, we'll just put one, okay? What else do we need for muscles? Nerves. 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 So without nerves, muscles cannot contract because the order to the contraction would come from the, from the brain. Later on, we'll see that they should be really two nerve pathway from each muscle. One would go from the brain to the muscle and it will give the order of contraction. Mm -hmm. The other one is the sensation of the muscle back to the brain, to say, oh, I'm in pain, or I'm feeling sore, tired, yeah? But for now, it's just a representation, good? And I will ask Justina to hold that. Now, what is gonna happen, that you're gonna have now a mega kind of uh, connective tissue, and this connective tissue would be kind of uh, wrapped this way and would go on to the kind of other side. You can leave, leave that, yeah. Do you have a lymph? Would that lymph? You would be lymph, yes, yeah. it would be lymph as well. Okay. Um, uh, not as significant, but you're right, there would be lymph nodes, yes. And um, I think by then, that would be it, really, yeah? Now, thank you. Good. So, this would be kind of how the muscles would look. So, you would have the central part of the muscle. Oh, come on, let's do the other side. It will be just nicer, isn't it? <laughs> Otherwise, it will have only one tendon. <laughs> yeah? Cool. That's good. Uh, uh, I think nature is a lot more organized than I am. <laughs> so, it's not going to be that messy. Yeah. It's going to be really nice and kind of nice and tight and everything is nicely organized. But, all right, so we have our kind of skeletal muscle. Uh, don't forget that we have other muscles like in our belly and, and, and even in the skin we have muscles, yeah, that stands the hair. But we're talking about skeletal muscles, so that would be the middle part would be called the muscle belly, yes, and we have an extension from each side that we call tendon, and it's very strong and inelastic and it will attach to the, to the bone, yes, to the periosteum in the bone, yeah? And uh, inside you have all the muscle cells that would make the muscle kind of contract and relax, contract and relax, yeah? And How does it attach to the periosteum? What's the mechanism that it attaches? The collagen fiber would really interweave. Into the bone? Yes, yeah, so imagine this is the periosteum and this is the tendon fiber and it will just be coming and attached so it would be very strong yeah this attachment can be quite strong sometimes it would be that strong that if you pull on a bone the tendon would not rub, uh, um, rupture what would be that it would take piece of the bone yeah. yeah. And it's called, it has even a, a name, it's called evulsion contract, uh, fracture. Evulsion. evulsion fracture, that you take a piece of, of the bone and not tearing the tendon. Because the tendon is extremely strong. 
yeah? So the Achilles tendon, for example, yeah? If you push really strong, it might be, the tendon is so strong that it would not rupture, but it would take a piece of bone. Yeah. Which in a way is better, because bone heal better than a tendon. Mm -hmm. So, yeah? So now, we'll go to our, our seats and we will look more into writing and how to, but that's, that should be your image really of a muscle. And uh, we will need to call names for each part now, and then after that see how they actually work. Yeah? So questions so far? What makes the muscles, the moves, the slide? Well, if you have two muscles, can I get another muscle here? Yeah? Imagine you have another muscle. Mm -hmm. I think this is from kyphosis, the other group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Imagine that you have two muscles yeah. and they may be sliding on each other. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a good point because sometimes if the muscles would not yeah. um, glide for a long time, hold it for a second, what will happen that spontaneously the body would start build what called scar tissue. Uh -huh. So a little piece and then it's kind of stuck, yeah? So, uh, what's important is for massage therapists that in, on the time, the process, that the collagen fiber line to mobilize the muscle, move them. You know, which technique can you do to move them? Bleeding. Maybe lifting, you know? Tetrasage. We learn more compression technique to try to get more space and more move between those. Yeah. So that's what you're trying to avoid. This stuck. I have a problem. Yeah. But it's on the camera, so be careful. <laughs> they broke my muscles. It could be, yeah. Yeah. Because it doesn't. You it doesn't know it. Yeah. So sometimes you will have situation where healing happened well but the muscle would stuck so you need to put the person in uh, anesthesia mm -hmm. yes and then strongly just separate those you know and then help it to maintain mm -hmm. is the scar tissue also a knot uh, yeah mm -hmm. it, it definitely could be so imagine this is a scar tissue and imagine you have a cut here it will kind of stick there and when you palpate that's what you feel but it could be also a point where there is an increased tension of the muscle so it could be a few things um, and later on once we learn everything about the muscle it would be interesting to go and see what is it there sometimes it's hard to know is it a scar tissue is it increased tension Maybe it just increase sensitivity sometimes of the client. Yeah? And we talk about the physiology. Yeah? Cool. Thank you. Come. Okay, let's go.